Welcome to the Trotwood 2020 State of the City Address. I am Mayor Mary McDonald, and I'm excited to review with you several events that have impacted the Trotwood community over this last year, including several topics that continue to make Trotwood a city of growth and progress. I would first like to acknowledge my other Trotwood Council members, Vice Mayor Tina Brown, Council Member Ronald Vaughn, Council Member Rhonda Finley, Council Member Betty Gales, Council Member Robert Kelly, and Council Member Yvette Page. Pandemic. In the past years, the State of the City Address has been delivered in person. And although the pandemic known as COVID-19 did not begin until March of 2020, I would be amiss to not discuss the impact it is having on our daily operations. This video is just one of the examples of the many things that have changed over the last few months as we deal with this public health crisis. I know many of you are wondering what will happen with the great momentum our city was experiencing before Ohio Governor Mike DeWine issued his stay at home order. While our world and our realities have been turned upside down, one thing I know for certain from past experiences is that this community is resilient. Our faith and our confidence will get us through this COVID-19 as long as we remember to stand together, work together, protect each other. Remember, we are all in this together. And most of all, know that no weapon formed against us will prosper. We will stand victoriously like David did against Goliath. Our first mission is to protect our citizens and our employees. Therefore, the city of Trotwood reopened its offices on June 1st, 2020, but only under the following COVID-19 controlled measures. The government center offices are open from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Visitors must make an appointment prior to arrival and are limited to the lobby only. Appointments between 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. are reserved for those that are 60 years and older or those with compromised health conditions. Visitors must maintain a minimum distance of six feet. There is a limit of five visitors to the Trotwood Government Center due to our limited space. Hand sanitizing stations are in the lobby for each city office. All visitors to any city office will be requested to wear face masks. Employees are abiding by this practice as well. Remember, Utility bills can be paid online or placed in the drop box outside the Trotwood Government Center. Also, we have arranged for all the public meetings to be held virtually until further notice. Please visit www.trotwood.org for details on how to watch a specific meeting. Disaster and response. Our community is well positioned for long-term recovery and rebuilding in the aftermath of the 2019 Memorial Day tornado, a historic F4 tornado that caused substantial property and personal damage. A total of 1,100 properties in Trotwood were impacted by the tornado, affecting 750 apartment units. Over 200 of the impacted properties suffered major damage or were destroyed. There are currently 52 new residential homes being built in the Wolf Creek Run subdivision by D.R. Horton, the largest builder by volume in the United States since 2002. This represents $10 million in new private capital investment in our community. Westbrook Village Apartments are well on their way being fully reopened. The owner, Daniel J. Penn, has invested over $5 million in rebuilding this multifamily unit apartment complex. We truly appreciate Mr. Penn's commitment to providing affordable housing in our community. Tornado resistance homes are being built in the Sycamore Woods community by G.F. Bailey, a developer in the Dayton area. These homes will be a compatible addition to the Sycamore Woods housing. We are also excited to see the progress made by Westbrook Village and Shiloh Garden neighborhoods. The rebuilding has started and they are making great progress as they work towards completion. 
My office spearheaded the Trotwood Disaster Fund that was designed to help our citizens with essential needs beyond the basic needs the families might have. Many of you made contributions to the relief fund and we want you to know that you are a blessing to many in our community. Your generosity assisted in the recovery efforts and we cannot thank you enough for that support. In order to incentivize and galvanize the rebuilding process of our community, I am proud to announce that the city has initiated a tax abatement incentive. This package is to help individuals with rebuilding, renovating, and the construction of new structures. The tax incentive will offer a four-year abatement as follows. 100% in year one, 75% in year two, 50% in year three, and 50% in year four. Please note, the abatement is on the improvements made and will not eliminate all tax liabilities. However, even so, this incentive package will provide financial relief for many impacted homeowners in our city. City Council and I are committed to implementing economic development policies that promote growth and well-being in our community. This is another important part of our success story as we rebuild from the Memorial Day tornado. Trotwood Community Improvement Corporation. Prior to our stay-at-home order, we were moving at mock speed and making great strides in rebuilding. And I know our tenacity, fortitude, and grit will allow us to continue to move forward. The Trotwood Community Improvement Corporation continues to impact the community through converting once vacant properties into productive tax-paying use. To date, this program has caused the return of approximately $83,000 in annual taxes paid to Montgomery County and the associated tax subdivision. Furthermore, through the renovation of 62 properties, this program has induced just over $2 million in renovation investments into Trotwood's housing stock, thus returning housing values to the stable point in many of the Trotwood neighborhoods. Trotwood will continue to demolish vacant and abandoned housing that is left over from the Great Recession. The removal of these properties is part of the comprehensive strategy to eliminate blight while encouraging neighborhood investment and increasing property values. Financial Outlook. As we exited the fourth quarter of 2019, America's real gross domestic product held steady at 2.1%. This was great news for our economy because business investment and consumer spending were up. This allows Trotwood to continue creating an atmosphere to attract new business investment that is sustainable for our future. As a result of the 2019 Memorial Day tornado and the COVID-19 pandemic, our local economy now faces significant financial challenges because of unemployment, income tax losses, and decrease property tax revenues. The national unemployment rate is at an all-time high of 14.7%, and the state of Ohio has made cuts to its biannual budget, which filters down to the local level. We estimate a combined loss of $400,000 in revenue from the city's general operating fund. However, we continue to maintain a balanced budget without deficit spending. Our general fund, unencumbered reserve, continues to grow and now stands at roughly $2.4 million. When we came into office four years ago, there were approximately $473,000 in our unencumbered general fund reserves. In addition, Moody's Investor Service had downgraded the city's credit rating and documented the city as having a negative outlook. Today, that negative outlook has been removed. And through sound fiscal management, we have grown our reserves by 520%. Coming into office, our goal was to achieve a three month cash reserve in five years. However, we achieved our goal in three years. We are extremely proud of the efforts to be fiscally responsible with our tax dollars. In times like this, Sound fiscal policies like ours pay off.
as we will be able to absorb some of the loss of income and continue to position ourselves for growth as the economy rebounds from this recession. Economic development. I am pleased to tell you that since we came into office, the city of Trotwood has recognized over 300 new living wage jobs, retrofitted over 1.25 million square feet of commercial space and generated $3.5 million in capital improvements. We saw the construction of a brand new 13,000 square feet state-of-the-art library at the northwest corner of East Main Street and McGregor Drive. Libraries create a strategic value in a community as a place where one can learn about the past, the present, and imagine the future. The library officially opened on March 13, 2020. Not only do we have a new library, the Western Division Municipal Court will be building a new courthouse in the city of Trotwood. The new courthouse will be approximately 15,000 square feet and be located at the northeast corner of East Main Street and McGregor Drive. The courthouse will service the cities of Trotwood, Brookville, the townships of Clay, Jackson, Jefferson and Perry, and the villages of New Lebanon, Phillipsburg, Farmersville and Verona. The groundbreaking was scheduled for spring of 2020 but due to the COVID-19, Montgomery County has moved that project to 2021. We are also extremely excited to welcome Goodwill Easter Seals to our community. They will be building a 12,000 square foot facility along East Main Street, west of the new library, which will provide the following. Specialized services for seniors and their caregivers, behavioral health services, employment programs for persons with disabilities, free car seat programs, and digital skills training. The groundbreaking for this facility is scheduled for spring 2021. Like the courthouse, this project was originally slated to break ground in 2020. However, due to COVID-19, this project was also pushed back. As you can see, East Main Street is being renovated and bringing energy to the historic area of our community. Furthermore, the city's East Main Street Business District facade project will help upgrade the streetscape, revitalize and rejuvenate the aesthetic and help our businesses update their appearances. We applied for and were awarded a $60,000 Community Development Block Grant to help this initiative. Premier Energy has finalized their move into the Trotwood Industrial Park. The company will initially employ roughly 50 employees representing a $2.3 million payroll. They will be situated next door to Stratacash, a soon to be $1 billion company that came to Trotwood during our first year in office. We are very excited about Premier Energy choosing the city of Trotwood and we welcome them to our community. I am pleased to announce Mansi Metal Incorporated made the decision to locate in the city of Trotwood in the former Wallahan Lumber Building located at 4799 Salem Avenue. This building sat vacant for decades, but will now be occupied with a thriving, sustainable business. Furthermore, Mansi Metal is a made to order metal roof manufacturing company with a wide variety of metal panel options and colors, allowing people to create their dream homes. They are currently located in Kentucky and Illinois and will be great community partners. Welcome Mancy Metal to Ohio. Trotwood is very excited. We also hope to build our new amphitheater in John Wolf Park that was slated to be built this year, but slowed down again due to the COVID-19. Our plans are to start construction in spring of 2021. Thank you, Sister Joan de Christopher, for blessing our wonderful city with a $10,000 donation to kickstart this project. As you can see, we have momentum and are moving forward with attractive living wage jobs in our community. Health initiatives. It is important to talk about the efforts the city has made towards making sure our residents have access to healthy foods. 
We know this is a, a public health issue that is plaguing communities across the country. As a result of having poor access to supermarkets and healthy foods, we are forced to depend on convenience stores that offer high calorie and sodium processed foods that directly correlate to the high obesity, high blood pressure, heart disease, stroke and cancer and diabetes in our community. Therefore, we are fighting and advocating for access to healthy foods. We are proud to announce Gordon Food Services plans to expand its wholesale grocery model to include retail options that will offer more fresh produce, vegetables, baked goods, meats, and fresh in-store roasted chicken. The grocer's expansion is in response to growing demands in the area for access to fresh and healthy foods. Gordon's Food Service anticipates making a significant upgrade initially internally and externally to its current location at 5380 Salem Avenue to accommodate the retail portion of their business. They have been working with the city's planning and economic development department to coordinate a new left turn break from State Route 49 into their current location. The grocer will also offer online ordering and in-store pickup. We thank Gordon Food Service for choosing Trotwood being committed to our community and making such a substantial capital investment of over $2 million in upgrades. This is an exciting business expansion for our community and is expected to continue into fiscal year 2021. The project was slowed down due to COVID-19, but will gain momentum again in 2021. Infrastructure. We continue to work on improving the city's aging infrastructure. We know that we have 50-year-old water lines and deteriorating roadways and streets. Therefore, we have taken an aggressive approach to making improvements. In 2019, the city upgraded its sanitary sewer line along Wolf Creek, which includes 1,600 feet of sanitary sewer line upgrades at a cost of $975,000. We also upgraded 3,730 feet of water line along Olive Road from the intersection of Main Street to Bradfield Place for a total project cost of approximately $566,000. We are excited to resurface 2.1 miles of Shiloh Springs Road between Olive Road and Oaks Road at a cost of $343,000. This is a major thoroughfare in the city and it had to be addressed. Furthermore, the city implemented a traffic pattern signal change at the intersection of Shiloh Springs Road and Basor Road to improve safety for motorists commuting in the city. This project cost $40,000 and enabled the city to install new signage, turn arrows, add a loop detector to the westbound left turn, change the traffic signal head, and restripe the Shiloh Springs Road approach to the intersection. We understand 68% of our neighborhood streets are rated either fair or poor and we are working on strategies to address this issue. We plan to hold several community forums in the near future as everyone's support and input will be necessary to make these needed improvements. This year, we are investing almost $1 million in resurfacing neighborhood streets, and we're ecstatic about improving those roadways. Strategic plan. We are pleased with the impact that the Trotwood Community and Cultural Arts Center is having in our community as being a place to celebrate the arts. We are excited about having Central State University having a satellite office in our center and providing community-based outreach and educational programs. We thank Central State University for being committed to the city of Trotwood. I want to first focus on the importance of partnering with our city schools to help strengthen our public education system so it prepares every student to reach their full potential. I know I cannot do this work alone. However, together with staff, families, our faith-based community, nonprofit organizations, local businesses, and the city, we can work to ensure a bright future for our city's youth 
and ultimately a better future for our city. I understand so much of our maintaining healthy, vibrant neighborhoods or the revitalization of neighborhoods is based on the confidence our residents have in our schools. This is why I know the City Council and the Trotwood Madison Board of Education is firm in its commitment to continuous improvement as each body understands the impact the quality of schools have on our city. I am and remain committed to partnering with the Trotwood Madison City Schools. Safety services. Last year, the Trotwood Police Department responded to over 33,000 calls for service. Our police department has received the Accreditation with Excellence Award for three years, along with the Meritorious Award, a designation for having been accredited for 15 consecutive years from the Commission of Accreditation for Law Enforcement Agencies, or CALEA. These awards are symbolic for demonstrating a firm commitment to meet and exceed compliance with a comprehensive set of established standards. They also successfully completed the gold standard assessment awarded by CALEA assessment team for being compliant in its policies, organizational procedures, and community relations. Our police department is also compliant with the Ohio Collaborative Community Pride Accessory Board's uniform standard. This advisory board was formed in 2015 to create uniform minimum standards for Ohio's law enforcement agencies covering use of force, including deadly force, and hiring and recruitment. Our police department was one of the first to complete all of the requirements for this initiative, and we are very proud of them for upholding the highest standard in law enforcement profession. As of today, 79% of all of Ohio's law enforcement officers work for an agency that has voluntarily complied with these standards or is in the process of certification. Governor DeWine directed the Ohio Department of Public Safety's Office of Criminal Justice Services, which oversees the certification process, to reach out to every agency that is not certified in these standards and assist them in moving towards certification. The Ohio Collaborative Community Police Advisory Board 2020 Public Report, which lists the certification status of all law enforcement agencies in the state, is available at www.publicsafety.ohio.gov. The Trotwood Fire and Rescue Department is comprised of 18 full-time firefighter paramedics and up to 40 part-time personnel. In 2019, the department responded to over 6,780 calls for service, approximately a 4.5% increase in call volume compared to 2018. These professional men and women completed over 3,500 hours of training to ensure their knowledge and skills reflect excellent customer service, as well as their ability to respond to trends in patient care and handle any epidemics in our region. The department also provides education to our community. They conducted 70 events for fire prevention education while also performing community service to our citizens. They also installed 114 smoke detectors and 40 carbon monoxide detectors at no charge. These services reflect the Fire and Rescue Department's mission of providing dynamic professional fire and EMS services through our emergency operations, education, and prevention to the people who live, work, and visit the evolving community. Trotwood has some of the best responders in the region and the nation. Our first responders, including our Public Works Department, did an outstanding job during the 2019 Memorial Day tornado. They have been recognized by federal, state, and local officials for their response and preparedness. And I want to thank each one of them for putting their lives on the line for us each and every day. Conclusion, Trotwood is in the middle of a revolutionary revitalization. 
which makes it a great place to live, to raise a family, to work and to do business. My hope is that you would choose our wonderful community and make it your home. Every year, we plan a family reunion festival, the third weekend of September. Unfortunately, due to the COVID-19, we had to cancel this event for 2020. However, mark your calendar because we are already planning for an exciting family reunion weekend in 2021. Finally, I want you to know that your local government is focused on building a community of trust and love, creating an environment where all residents feel safe and good about the wonderful city called Trotwood. May God bless our city and its citizens. We are all family and remember, my door is always open. Thank you.